this is a campaign to really call out what we think is the silver lining in the pandemic. And that is an opportunity for women. Now is a good time to think about pivoting into new careers. And we're hoping that our campaign will start um, will start a new way of thinking about careers. And not only new careers, but specifically STEM careers, traditionally dominated by men. The Prosperity Project campaign is using inspiration taken from the Rosie the Riveter imagery from World War II that was used to motivate women into the workforce. Similarly, this campaign hopes to remind women that they can enter science and technology fields. And so we hope that when women look at the images, they'll see themselves hearkening back. It's a bit of a nostalgic look, only we want this time to be different. Women coming into the workforce in STEM roles, in skilled trades. It's about not only getting them there, but keeping them there this time. That's right. And so younger women, eight, ages 18 to 24, have a real appetite to, uh, to learn more and to reskill. And they are really interested in looking at STEM, especially racialized women. And so that's really uh, encouraging. And for women attempting to enter those fields, the campaign speaks to the challenges and inspires. Do you find the posters sort of motivational or what, what's your reaction to them? Absolutely. I think they're, they're gorgeous, first of all, but I think the Rosie the Riveter, like symbolism in them, but also looking at women in, in these different fields that are typically male dominated is so inspiring. The Prosperity Project also has resources available to women looking to make a career switch, including online virtual webinars. See the advice that people in career paths already have, um, just so that they can kind of base their next life choices on the advice that these women who have kind of been through the obstacles and the barriers. And for women thinking of a switch to STEM fields, it may be both good timing and economically beneficial. For example, in technology, there's an expected 17% growth about to happen in the number of technology jobs in this country and women who are in STEM jobs earn 35 percent more than their non-STEM counterparts. To find the resources available you can go to our website citynews.ca slash extras. In Toronto, Audra Brown, City News.